All right, guys, what is up? It is the inspector here. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And today I want to give you a step by step guide on how to start playing Mir 4, the MMORPG play to earn game. So, apart from showing you a step by step guide on how to actually start the game, I will also show you everything I learned along the way from level 0 to level 40, which took me about almost two weeks of playing. As far as I can see online and on YouTube, a lot of people are playing the game wrong they say it's boring it's not a good game but they're expecting to play it like they would play world of warcraft this is not the same type of game this is play to earn and you can afk way more but more of that later on i will show you all the tricks i have learned along the way to make the game more entertaining for myself but without further ado once you open the game you're greeted with this screen you are gonna want to sign in with either facebook apple or google so finally after you're logged in you're greeted with this this is just the entry screen so I'll just click anywhere and it'll teleport me toward the game here's where we pick our characters so it's semi important I would say which character you pick when I played first this wasn't a character back then the Arbalist is that how you call it so I will pick the Arbalist but obviously whatever looks best for you you can pick the Lancer is pretty good my first playthrough I was the Taoist so I will pick the Arbalist this time and in order not to waste time I will not customize my character at all you can customize your character all you want but this is gonna be perfect for a thumbnail yes thank you after customizing your character a bit you can just click on create character let's give her a name this is a perfect name I would say and while we're at it if you think this is interesting and want to see this avatar in your subscription box every single day then subscribe hit the little bell icon so you never miss out on future videos from the inspector so now we have a character and we can just click on start the game so you'll be able to actually earn money once you reach level 40 before level 40 though it's really just a grind so no need to look at the cinematics you can look at all the cinematics and check Check out the full story once you play it for yourself I will just skip 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 so I can show you the most important details pretty self-explanatory you move your screen by clicking your mouse button and then moving it either left or right and then the moving is just WASD just like any other normal RPG game but obviously later on actually very soon after this I will be able to just click on autoplay and it'll play for myself I wouldn't even have to do anything I can just click autoplay pick the mission I want and yeah there's actually a lot of stuff that I want to go through so let's just skip and go over it so here we go even at the very first mission it's showing me the autoplay option so I have my quests on the right here and what I can do rather than going toward him and then clicking on him I can just click on the mission and it'll do it automatically so once you do get to the mission you will need to confirm and click again obviously but this goes for the main story missions whereas the other missions you don't really have to do that you can literally click autoplay and just go away from your pc but then again you will have to keep looking at the game at least on another monitor just so if you get overpowered by certain mobs who are higher level than you you can jump in get away from the battle um drink a few potions and you know live to fight another day so, so let's just keep going uh we're gonna have to beat this first section of the game this first mission and i'll try to do this as fast as possible obviously later on you're gonna have missions here this is probably the crypto game i have played the most no joke i have actually played this game the most it's a very fun game for me okay let's just see the attacks um, that's pretty cool all the attacks look beautiful i know it's a port from a mobile phone i know all of that guys i just find this game fun you know i i, I really do it's not a game you sit down and play uh, like you would play assassin's creed or far cry but it is a game that you can just leave on your other monitor while you're doing your other stuff and then just periodically interfere in the game and uh, heal your character or maybe run away from a battle and stuff like that but most of the time it's gonna be very passive and you're not gonna be doing much you're just gonna click on autoplay and it's gonna do its thing right as long as you pick your battles and as long as the missions you're fighting are either your level or lower level than you you're gonna have a good time so we'll finish the first few quests and I'll be back once I get to the open world section of the game to talk more details but for right now once you get to this portion you can literally just skip this checked the autoplay and it'll finish it for you and you can just follow the story so we're not in the open world section yet but if I open my backpack I'm level 3 now um, I have some items 
here. And as you can see, all my items here are actually gray. We want to get them from gray to green, then from green to blue, then from blue to purple, and then we have gold at the very end. Now, in order to do this, you're going to have to do a lot of grinding, a lot of, a lot of missions to finish, and a lot of mobs to slay. Also, each item has five levels of enhancement, so you'll be able to enhance your items five times and every time you enhance an item you will need to spend dark steel and other materials that you find along the way when you finish missions when you gather um, various materials obviously dark steel being the only way for you to actually earn money because a hundred thousand dark steel equals one draco coin but if we get here to our menu as you can see we have skills and let's just go to the skill menu here. Um, you'll be able to learn and upgrade all of these skills while also assigning various skills to the various slots. All of this will be used for autoplay um, later on. And if we get to our character and equipment, this is the one that I already showed you. So, so let's go on to autoplay and try to find the open world section. So here's a very interesting tip that you will probably need later on in the game. So right now I can beat all these enemies on my own, but let's say these enemies were higher level. I would want to pick my battle, so rather than just clicking on autoplay, I would want to attack the same enemies that other people are attacking, so that it's much easier to actually kill them. And I can just pick the enemy and just manually click and it will keep attacking them. So this way it makes it much easier to destroy higher level enemies in higher level areas and therefore get higher level um, items, equipment and such. So level 4 right now, more than halfway through level 4, so level 5 is just around the corner. Another useful thing, you, you're gonna wanna click on this little plus button right here and here's where you're gonna put your potions and the potions you can buy at any merchant store in any big city of the game. So I will show you the map later on and show you where you can actually buy those but it's much it, it's, it's very easy to actually find um, the merchants. So auto potions, I will put everything on max. I want everything to be fully automatic. And as soon as I lose some mana, I want the potion to be popped automatically. And let's just pick battle icon right here. The skill fre frequency, we're going to pick always. So auto aim, auto return, and that's it. Let's go back to the game. And we're very close to level 5 right now. So we're just going to need to destroy a few more enemies. And th this just looks very cool. I don't know. I just like the way all of this plays and all of this looks. The graphics are pretty cool, but not only the graphics, the whole design of the fight is just looking very nice to me. It looks very nice. It, it, it looks much better than most of the crypto games, especially the RPG crypto games. And this being an MMO, um, this is very beautiful. So we got another boss fight in our hands. And as you can see, when the boss fight starts and it's part of the main quest, like it is right now, I don't have people around me to help me. So we'll need to deal with the boss myself. And when you deal with the boss yourself, it's very important to dodge you need to click this button and dodge as many times as you can whenever the boss wants to hit a big attack you're gonna want to dodge and then continue auto attacking so we did reach level 5 right now and with level 5 we have the tasks so I you're gonna want to claim as many rewards as possible especially the rewards that give you dark steel so if you open your map right here click on this uh, bitchy on area map you can see the castle right here in the middle and it's mostly where all the merchants are so as you can see potion merchants we, we got a couple potion merchants right here uh, there are more potion merchants all around the map but these potion merchants are the one I use the most personally and whenever I run out of potions I just buy uh, one two thousand potions from them the big um, health and mana potions and I never run out of those and you're gonna need as many as you can if you're gonna auto complete quests because that's the fastest way to get to level 40 and once you reach level 40 you can just mine for dark steel and basically earn uh, the Draco coin but we are still in the tutorial section of the game so I just unlocked crafting and let's talk a little bit more about crafting so we open our menu we go to craft and let's see what we can make so some gold equipment <laughs> we're definitely not gonna be able to make gold equipment right now but as you can see four million dark steel in order to create this gold equipment and trust me guys it's worth it it's much better than converting into Draco because with this it's gonna be much easier for you to actually play the game to finish quests and even to mine so when someone tries to get 
get you away from the ore you're trying to mine and you have better equipment than them, you are going to beat them and you are going to continue mining your ore. So let's see what we can create. We got this uncommon, which is green, still much better than the one I have right now, which is gray. So let's craft this and equip it right away and I will get 320 more attack points, more power points there we go the more power points you have the stronger you are basically so let's go to our character right here finally i have the green one and let's see if i can enhance it not not right now i still can't enhance it all right if we go to our task i can claim some few more rewards no dark steel to be claimed all right and we've unlocked our first spirit so yeah let me just deal with these guys real quick and then we're gonna see about our spirit the spirit is gonna give you a more buffs so let's just click the little plus icon and we go to our spirits we have our little dragon you're gonna be my first spirit and i'm gonna summon him right now so he is now my very first spirit and you're gonna need to click deploy as well and put him right here there we go and i've summoned my spirit and i got over 1000 power points just from this little dragon guy so thank you so much for that power let's go back to craft we've also unlocked apart from craft we unlocked combine so combine is something i've never used in my two weeks of playing um to get to level 40 but it is here where you can combine various items and various magic stones into more powerful ones basic also whenever you see this icon right here it means you have a notification or a reward to be claimed so let's claim all the rewards we can claim obviously I'm not gonna purchase any of these but let's see if we have any free um, rewards we can claim I don't see any right now there we go we got three uh, 30,000 copper here uh, from the second one we got the login for one 100,000 copper and then the seven day attendance is the first day and we got um, something I don't know what this is, but it's probably useful for something. So you always want to claim your rewards. All right, so this is what we got. Take it in to increase your item drop rate by 8% for 30 minutes, and I will use that. So all of these items right here are various different buffs. So I will use this. Thank you very much. And I will also use this. Uh, to increase my secret peak entry secret secret peak is something else we're gonna need later on on secret peak you're gonna fight uh, various different bosses and you also have uh, some dark steel and other things you can mine on the secret peak it's like a whole separate section of the map and you enter the secret peak through portals but i haven't unlocked that yet it's in level 32 so this is how you will get to secret secret peak later on so i'm level six already and you may think well leveling is easy in this game well you probably never played an MMO before if you think that because every MMO works like this the first 10 to 15 levels are pretty fast pretty easy you don't need much experience but then every next level you're gonna need double the experience you got from the previous one so from level 10 or level 15 it gets exceptionally hard to level so the higher level you are the harder it is to level up one more level I, I hope that makes sense all right we've unlocked some more skills so let's go to the skill menu and see what exactly we got all right i'm gonna learn this skill thank you 22 more power points we got the flash arrows which is something uh particular for my character and i can even enhance it so we'll do that right now i will enhance this to tier two so the flash arrow is now tier two i don't think i can enhance anything else no i can't i will need the spell tombs in order to enhance this and if i click on source I can see exactly where I can find this item that I need so I can just move to here obviously I'm small level right now you, you need to level up a little bit more in order to pick your own missions but basically the recommended power score for this mission is 3681 uh, I'm pretty sure my power score is more than that right now so I will be able to easily beat this mission um, get this skill tome and then I'll be able to enhance um, one more of these skills so basically that's how it works it's it's pretty fun to be honest it's pretty fun i'm actually looking forward to testing my new skill my level two skill come on let me test it let me test it here we go bam all right oh my god okay i've actually decided to <laughs> level up the perfect skill <laughs> basically this is where you gather items so i can literally click auto mine and it will auto gather for me and it will gather everything that is around here there we go everything is gathered and let's continue with the main quest i don't think missions are open yet no they're not they're gonna open when after completing the quest shadow of darkness so i'm a high enough level but i just need to complete uh, i think this particular quest that i'm on right now in order to unlock uh, the various different mission side quests so i don't have to only do the main quest but we are still in the tutorial section 
of the game. And we've unlocked the next part, which is Constitution. Let's see what the Constitution can tell us here. So you're gonna be able to upgrade your power rankings by leveling up your Constitution. So you have the physical defense, spell defense, HP, physical attack, accuracy, and everything else. We're gonna just, just start with the one uh, that the tutorial is asking me to do. So let's just enhance this, and boom, we got a little bit more of physical defense. Let's see if we can upgrade anything else. We can. All right, as you can see, this is some herbs. So um, the more herbs you gather, the more you're gonna be able to upgrade all of this. So let's upgrade our intelligence as well and our HP. Anything else? Nope, that's, by the looks of it, that's it. We don't have um, enough materials to upgrade anything else. So we're gonna need some herb root in order to upgrade um, more things. So let's just see, as, for, as far as gathering goes, um, we can gather this here in this valley or we can finish this mission. This mission is way too high of a power score for me to finish. So I would go for gathering and just move here. And there we go, it actually does work right now. Well, perfect. Let's go and gather this and, and uh, kind of explain to you guys how this actually works. So it's right here. If we open the map, this is where it's leading us to. So it's very nearby. And there we go. I think it's all the herbs that are right here. So let's try it now. This is meditation. Meditation is for energy. <laughs> let's try and gather some of these herbs. And all of these mobs are pretty passive. They're not going to do anything to you as long as you do, don't do anything to them. So um, we have five minutes of gathering here. Let's just see what materials we're going to get. So we got the little mushrooms. That's also something we need. Yeah, just getting a bunch of different things, but let's see if we can already upgrade something. We're gonna go to our constitution and we can, so the mushrooms are very useful apparently. Uh, let's upgrade our accuracy once more. Cool, and basically that's how it works. So you need some mushrooms to upgrade something, you click on them, you click source, you click on gathering and you see where they are available. So we can just stand right here and just gather as many materials as possible. You can just AFK right now and just gather all of this and then upgrade yourself as much as you can. But something very, very important to also keep in mind, once you open the little menu button right here and then you go to your character equipment, then you click on your equipment, you want to enchant and enhance. So you're gonna need to do both of these. Enchant and enhance as many times as you can to make your item as powerful as possible. Every enchant, every enhance is gonna get your power score up. So I'm, I'm already at 6,000 power score on level six. No, I'm level seven actually, so my power score could be a lot higher right now, but I'm still at the phase of, of finishing the little tutorial and collecting all the little things and sections. But let's just enhance the other things we can enhance. So guys, from here, you're gonna wanna get to level 40. Once you get to level 40, you just want to mine and the game itself will show you where to go and mine or you can also check out my last mirror 4 video where I showed you hotspots for mining but keep in mind it's very important to have very high power score very high gear so whenever someone tries to take you away from your mining spot you can fight back and keep your mining spot that's why it's important to be as high level as you can so Hopefully this was useful to you, hopefully you're enjoying Mir 4 as much as I have been enjoying playing it to level 40. I'm not playing it now anymore because I did lose my level 40 account. That's an, That was an unfortunate turn of events and it kind of led me to not playing the game anymore. So I'm kind of searching for new uh, play to earn games right now. I'm looking at Hodel God, I'm looking at a few other games. I was looking at Blanco's Block Party, I've been playing that for a while. But it's just not as exciting as Mir 4 to me. Mir 4 was really exciting but it took me such a long time to get to level 40 that now that I lost that account I don't really have any motivation to level up my character again it's just gonna take ages but just for the sake of proving everybody wrong that told me you can't earn a hundred dollars with me or four I, I will probably level up this account to that level just to prove them wrong and to show them that yes you can if you do your math right, if you play it right, if you play your cards right, and you can't really AFK 24-7, you're gonna need to be present um, as much as you can, but yeah, I'll try to talk more about that if and when I ever end up making that video on proving the haters wrong, but basically that's it, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for my new video, peace!